then I was just thinking about something. And I want to know if you guys think this is as funny as I do because it just popped into my head. But the whole point of the game is to eat enough calories so you can continue to work, right? But for some reason, over like the past two days or so, I've been working so I can eat. Is that backwards or what? Welcome back, travelers. It's Lada Havoc, and we are back on some eco. Look at all the oopsie. Look at all the beautiful buffalo out here, or bison, or whatever you want to call them. Chilling out on the free range, unbothered, unbothered by me or anybody else around. But that won't be for long, because we are moving up in the world of cooking. And with that being said, we are, uh, we're going to start wanting their meat pretty soon. So I am slowly working on closing this uh, contraption in, having a little creativity difficulties and so I know I've got plan you know stuff to plan to go out there or whatever and uh, I did actually uh, I was talking with Mr. Saint the other day and we were talking about possibly doing a nice little like pond let me see if I can see it where I'm at it's kind of hard to see right here directly under me um, right where the water wheel is we're gonna do a little pond so the water wheel kind of makes sense and I just thought it would be kind of cute to have this little balcony until this tree sprouted up that wasn't there when I built this at first, but it's okay. I got a nice little clear shot of the ocean over there and all the animal and wildlife just piling up on that hilltop over there. Like they're always doing and there's a little rabbit sitting on the chimney. So anyways, today we are going to get some baking done, hopefully, or cooking or something. Uh, because one thing I want to do is I want to get started on this advanced baking book. I want to be able to make some elk wellington and I believe that's made in the baker's oven. Um, so I gotta get the recipe, or not the recipe for that, but I need advanced baking for that. <coughs> and apparently that book takes a little while, so we gotta get everything ready for it. But uh, Elk Wellington requires advanced baking for, oh, four. I don't even have advanced baking yet, because advanced baking is right here? Yes. I need the advanced baking skill scroll, okay? And that requires, um, it was like nine flatbread and 18 yeast. Now, I think I can now make yeast over here, or that might be another skill. So basically, I'm just compiling skills today because I don't know what all needs what. Um, yeast, I need culinary arts too. That one I can do because I think I already have culinary arts. That's uh, culinary arts, yeah. So two gives me huckleberry extract. So let's do it, 55, ooh, 85 for the next one. That's kind of expensive. That gives me elk taco and sausage, which I know sausage is pretty awesome. And it makes me kind of want to spend the points, but I'm not going to spend them at this moment because I'm not 100% sure what else I'm going to need. All right, but I do need to make yeast. Um, so I need to make some sugar. And I believe sugar is made with huckleberries inside of the uh, mill. So let's go get some of those right now. I don't know. I usually keep them in the... Yeah. I was like, I usually keep them in the store, but... Might have to go harvest some. That might be uh, something I gotta go do. Yeah, I don't have any huckleberries right now. Which is kind of crazy, because I usually collect like a whole bunch. So I'm gonna go do that, and then we'll be back. Alright, so we're back, and we got a ton of huckleberries. Like 189 of them. And now I can make up some sugar. It's five huckleberries per sugar... And, you know, I didn't look to see how much it yeast. If it's just one sugar per yeast. So let me see how many I'm going to need. I think this is the kitchen. Yeah. Yeast is, yeah, just one sugar to make a yeast. Okay, cool. So then that just means I need, I think it was 18 yeast. So that means I'm going to need 18 sugar. Which is going to be a lot of huckleberry. That's going to be 90 huckleberry. All right, cool. So we've got the sugar, and then that'll be made into yeast. Then I gotta start in on the flatbreads, and I need nine flatbreads, which I think are just done with flour, which I already have in here. Where's flatbread? Flatbread is two flours, so I can do nine. Order them up, but I need to go get some fuel. I'm out of fuel. All right, so we're rocking this, and we are gonna get this advanced culinary arts book seven and a half hours. I could I. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I mean, I get, you know, as you're moving your way up, they don't want you to fly through all the uh, the objectives and stuff like that. But 
Seven and a half hours for a book? For a book? I guess it takes longer than that to write a book, right? But I'm just reading it. And so that's technically what you're doing, right? You're reading a book and then you're getting the skill school, like the credit saying, hey, I read this. Shouldn't take that long, should it? I don't think it should take that long. <gasps> that's just my personal choice or preference. But at the same time, you know, I'm not the designer of the game. And these guys are doing an awesome job. I will say this much. Uh, after a couple conversations with a couple of the devs on uh, uh, their chat side or whatever, um, really useful, very, very attentive, quick to answer questions, uh, quick to get back to you, like very, very on top of it. And it's very much appreciated that they are rocking it the, the way they are. Uh, they, for such a small team, they're doing an amazing job. Absolutely amazing job. And uh, I'm very grateful because I'm actually really enjoying this game. And so, yeah. Um, well, while we're waiting though, um, Okay, this doesn't take any fuel. I brought fuel up for no reason. I do want to make some huckleberry extract because I want to see how awesome it really is. It's like 150 vitamins, just pure vitamins. And I think that'll be very, very useful to try to balance out my nutrition because right now my vitamins are the lowest, but I think I can get up to a full 2.0 uh, multiplier if I can get my vitamins up. So I'm, I'm hoping there. Here's to hoping. Does the stove need fuel? Does this one take? Yes, this one does. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and hook this one up with some fuel. And uh, I really want to get to the sausage, but I don't have the Culinary Arts 3 skill yet. That's the one I was looking at. I need 85, and I, right now I currently have 89. And I don't know if there's any other um, things I'm going to need at the moment. And then also sausage, I got to get my butchery up. So I might start doing that now because I've got the prepared meat. Let's see where butchery, where the expense on butchery is. Butchery is over here. See, that's only 29 to get to butchery three and I can start making sausage, which is really, really nice. Uh, Cause that cooked sausage, I think it's, is it in here or is it at the stove? I think it's at the stove. Some of these things are just uh, yum yums, you know, yum yums. I love food. I can't say it enough. Uh, sausage. I need the Culinary Arts 3, too, so it's going to be a minute. But, see, I got tw eh, 25. I'll get them pretty quickly. But one raw sausage gives me a sausage. That gives me 90 protein, 80 fat, and then I can compensate with vitamins and carbs with other items. So that's freaking awesome. So I'm going to wait until all these flatbreads are done, as well as I should have... Wow, the yeast take a while. Okay. So I'm going to come back when those are all done and the flatbreads are all done and I can run those over and start up the uh, advanced culinary book. Ooh, more baked canvas bulbs. I'll go put those in the store. So when those are done, we will rejoin. All right, guys, so the sugar literally just finished and I wanted to kind of show you something. I kind of did it like right before because I wasn't thinking about it. And well, I, I make mistakes like that. I'm prone to making mistakes. I am not uh, saying I'm not. I was like, you know, this has taken a while. And I was wondering, I've spent very little time paying attention to like speed and uh, efficiency upgrades. And so I finally took a look. And we'll say like right now I was looking at cooking, right? I want to do like a uh, huckleberry extract. If you see the very top one right there, this reduces its crafting time by 28%. And once I go up, it'll be 38%. But this reduced huckleberry extract cost by 45, almost 50%, which means it's going to be like 10 huckleberries to do one huckleberry extract. I need to get these leveled up like quickly. And so I did uh, level them up a little bit. Freaking amazing. And let's see, I need how many? I need 18 of these. Right. So I made 18 sugar, but look, I'm only using 12 to do it. Like, that's freaking awesome. Does that, I don't know, I don't know if that makes sense. It's kind of weird the way it shows it, but I'm like making 18, but look, I still have sugar left over. I made 18, but I only needed 12. That's, that's freaking awesome. That's awesome. I need to pay more attention to the efficiency stuff. Uh, that's my flatbread. So once these are done, and these shouldn't take too long now because they're only 44 seconds now because I lowered the time on everything. And look like huckleberry extract, I can, I have 22 in there, so I can make two. Can I make more? No. And bingo bango, I get two more, 
but I only had 20 or 22 and it was supposed to be 20 per. That's that's awesome. That is so much cheaper. I absolutely love it. I should have paid more attention before. So anyways, I'm going to wait for these yeast to get finished up or not yeast, but uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeast. That's what I'm making yeast from the sugar. Okay. I'm waiting for those to finish up and then we will go start our 7-hour book. We will be back. All right, guys. All right, guys. <clears throat> so I was like I wanted to um test out these huckleberries and the the yeast should be done in just a second so i want to test these guys out they're 300 calories so i went and worked off some calories so i could eat some or whatever right now my vitamins are at like 25 when everything else is at 30 so and i want to see if it's going to get my balance up which right now i'm at 1.8 so we're going to take one of these and that moved me up to 4.6 i'm at 26 and that moved me up 4.6 and I'm at 1.9 now and a little bit under. If I go work off 45 more calories, I can take, or 49 more calories, I can take another one. So we're gonna do the shovel technique I like to do here. This is like where I burn my calories right here. All right. And we'll take one more of those extracts. I like, I just ate my whole store worth of extracts. And that gave me another 4.6. Now I am, wow, that is really even. That is really, really even. Uh, proteins like down one, fats up one and a half, and vitamins are even. I'm at one point, I'm at now at 230 skill points a day. I was at 140 just yesterday in physical days, just yesterday. So this is coming a long way. And I think once we start being able to make uh, some sausage and some bear supreme and some elk wellington, we're gonna be able to throw those numbers like through the roof. And these are almost done, I got seven more. All right, so we're almost done. So I got six more I'm waiting on. So as soon as those six are done, we will come back and we will go start this crazy seven hour book. Seven hours. It just kind of makes me tired thinking about it because, well, it's worth it, okay? It's worth it. I'm not even going to complain. Ooh, I didn't even tell you guys about these. These things are so cool. Check this out. I know it's not nighttime yet, and actually, it's like a 12. By the time those are done and I start the book, it'll be nighttime. I want to show you these uh, stone braziers. Brise? Brazier? I don't know what they're called. Um, I put them in the store. What are they actually called? They are called... Brazier. Stone brazier. All right. Those are freaking awesome. One log, one log burns for like an hour and seven minutes, I believe it was. I don't even know how long one coal burns. I'm actually, let me see, do I have any coal left in here? No, out of fuel. I was like, I was gonna drop a coal in and see how long, because one coal burns like, you know, six and a half minutes when a log burns for a minute and a half. Something like six hours for a coal, that would be absolutely crazy but they just look kind of cool and so i put them on display so when the guys came up to the shop to get food they would see them and want them and then want to buy them I, I think that's a logical you know idea to get them to come buy my stuff so anyways we'll be back oh all righty the last one is almost done i kind of want to make some of this wildberry mix too i've got plenty of stuff to do it uh those huckleberries are gonna get going right now so we might do that before we finish up um, sugar. Okay, yeast. Okay, so we've got the yeast. We've got the flatbread. Let's go make this crazy, crazy book. Seven and a half hours. I'm just like, I'm thinking about that in my head. It's, like, it's a long time to wait. But I'll probably have this building done by that point because I'm really kind of at a standstill until the other guys get on and there's other stuff. Seven and a half hour, guys. Seven hours and 30 minutes. Let's start it up. Oh my goodness. Oh my, 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 my. Okay, so we're gonna try some of this wildberry mix too before we uh, finish up today because <clears throat> I want to see what kind of difference that makes as well. So I'm gonna go grab some of the, uh, uh, I got the camas bulbs in here. So I'm gonna grab some camas bulbs and go make some camas paste because I need three per. I'm gonna have two. Okay, so I'm gonna just have enough to make one. So I'll just make three camas paste real quick. And then we should be able to make one of those and I should be able to eat that before we finish up the episode. Oh, camas paste, I need milling too. Um, cooking, milling. 
20 mil million? Oh, million. Okay. Oh, I need five more points. Uh, how many points do I have? How many? I have two points. Okay. Well, that's not going to happen. I guess I'm not going to make the mix today. I guess we will do that. Or I will make it today, but we'll make it in a little bit. Um, but seven and a half hours, guys. I will see you in seven and a half hours. And I think it's about time. I, my book's got to be right. I don't hear the pages working anymore. I don't hear the pages working anymore. So it's got to be time. Oh, it's done. We have our advanced baking skill book. Let me right click. Get that scroll. Oh, goodness gracious. Let me drop off these markers because I don't need them right now. And I'm going to go drop off that book because I don't want to forget to do that. And I think, I think you're in here. Yeah, there you are. There we go. And let's go drop off this book and then check out what we can do with our advanced baking book because I believe that gives me the opportunity to unlock the things like Elk Wellington. Now, I'm gonna obviously need more skill points. I'm gonna need more skill points to level up and stuff like that. I, I, I get that. But, oh my gosh, just seven and a half hours to wait for a book to be made. That is a very, very long time, very well awaited, and oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, so excited. I, uh, I was just speaking to a couple of guys in the Discord chat, and uh, they're going to be coming on relatively soon, because we are going to start making our way through some of the other, um, the other skill paths. Um, I know Sir Olin has been working with the Metallurgy, and Mr. Saint is going to be heading into the... Uh, stone working and stuff like that and i'm thinking i'm going to go into engineering but i kind of want to do stone working too because i want to get into concrete i don't know but let's see it <coughs> let's see it oh cooking oh advanced where are you at where 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 where's the advanced um advanced oh advanced baking advanced baking it's going to take me 50 levels to unlock the first one and the first one gives me bread but look at that, level four gets me to Elk Wellington. Oh, that's so amazing. That is so amazing. And I can make all these other things and reduce my crafting time as well as my crafting efficiency. So I might spend a couple points now on these. Actually, what does what does level two give me? Level two gives me baked meat and huckleberry muffin. Let me go check out baked meat and see if it's nutritionally worth it because it's like 65 and 45 for the roast that I've been doing right now. So if baked meat is better, 90 and 70, and that's 1,200 calories. Oh, that's so much better. So much better. Let's let's get that bad boy. Let's get that bad boy right there. Uh, level two for baked meat. Yeah. There we go. And let's go ahead and do a little baking speed. No, I don't care about baking speed right now. Not overly worried about speed, but efficiency. I do want the efficiency stuff. 50 points. 50 points to unlock this, which means I'm figuring it's probably going to be probably about 150 to, I don't know how much to get that Elk Wellington, but it'll be well worth it, I think. And I do want to start getting these more unlocked because I need level three to be able to make up some sausage. Oh, it's so awesome. It is so awesome. That is long awaited right there. Long, long awaited. And you know what? My calories are getting a little low, and I could definitely use some carbs, fat, and vitamins. Hmm. Let us, let us go work up a little bit of a hunger real quick, because I do believe that it's 1,350 calories for our, um, our mixed, whatever it's called. Yeah, 1,350 calories, but carbs, fat, protein, vitamins, oh, it's all awesome. It's all so awesome. I gotta get my fat levels a little bit higher. They're gonna start screwing with my average. Um, but I think I could probably just do that like that. But my protein's already pretty high and I don't want more protein than that. So I'm gonna work up an appetite real quick and then we will be right back to finish up the episode. Okay, so I've got my calories and I was just thinking about something and I wanna know if you guys think this is as funny as I do because it just popped into my head. But the whole point of the game is to eat enough calories so you can continue to work, right? But for some reason over like the past two days or so, I've been working so I can eat. Is that backwards or what? Um, here you go. Wild mix. Let's see what it does for me. Oh, down five. What? What? Oh, my calories are way too high. 
calories are way too high. I got to get some fat in me. Oh, goodness gracious. But yeah, I don't know if you guys, <laughs> if you think that's funny, but I just thought about the fact that I work to eat. I don't eat to work. I literally just, you know, go crazy working and stuff like that so I can eat more food and try to get my skill points up, which makes sense in the long run. But, uh, and, I, and I'm doing useful stuff. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm doing stuff I need to do and I'm getting things that I need to get. But at the same time, it's like I keep wanting to like, okay, I want to eat this and I want to eat that. So I got to go, you know, free up room in my stomach to do it. So let's go work so I can eat some more. That seems kind of backwards from the way that uh, reality should be, but it's okay. But guys, I hope you're enjoying this series. I am having so much fun playing, and I'm really looking forward into evolving to uh, some of the next level stuff. The cooking is only going to last so much longer until I get that pretty much situated, where everybody on the server is going to have plenty of food to eat and going to be able to, you know, do their own thing and get their skill points up and stuff and then I can start working on another level and you know I'm actually I, I think I'll ask you guys because this will be posted pretty soon after I record it what do you guys think the next uh, path I should take is because right now I can kind of show you not a lot's been done by everybody right but right now um, like I said uh, Mr. Saint or sorry uh, Sir Olin has been working on metallurgy right and he's, he's not a high level yet but that is what he's working on right now and Mr. Saint has been concentrating on uh, carpentry, but he said he's going to take over mason masonry research so we can get to things like cement and concrete and stuff like that. I, I don't know if I should start dipping into engineering. I'm thinking that that's the path I want to take. Um, and I'll probably have the most skill points because I'm going to be eating the best right off the bat. And so I'll be able to get into like the advanced mechanics and stuff like that. And, you know, I think that's what that's the path I should probably take except I can't really do anything with the engineering right now so well what can we do in engineering let's see uh primitive mechanics let's go ahead and open that up and we'll go ahead and open that up and that we'll just start opening some stuff and I need the mechanic skill scroll which I thought I already made but that that might actually be that might have already been made let's go check because I remember someone mentioning it recently uh, when we were talking about things we needed. I think engineering is probably the path I'm going to take while they're doing the other two because we definitely want to be, you know, concentrated on other paths and kind of come back together on some of the stuff. So hopefully this will be a good idea. And uh, if this is what you guys want to see me do, please let me know. If there's other things you want to see, I can definitely concentrate on other things for the sake of doing videos and stuff like that. Uh, uh, mechanics, mechanics. Butchery, cooking, engineering, carpentry, milling, baking, masonry, smithing, agriculture, culinary, glassworking. No, no mechanics. What, what, what do I need for mechanics? What do I need for mechanics? Uh, mechanics skill book. Uh, ooh, I have to get the advanced mechanics research. Wow. Advanced mechanics research. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, that was under research. The advanced mechanics. Oh, my goodness. 250 points. Well, fortunately, I'm kicking out a lot of points right now. So that won't be too bad. I should be able to get that by tomorrow. So maybe that's where we'll pick up. Maybe we'll pick up and start doing advanced mechanics. But anyways, like I said, if you guys are enjoying, please let me know. You know, click that like button. Leave a comment. Talk to me. I feel kind of lonely when I don't have interactions with you guys because I really am doing it for you guys to watch and enjoy and you know it just it gets kind of lonely when no one talks to me but uh if you guys are enjoying please hit that like button if you're new to the channel and uh this is the first kind of video you've come across <coughs> don't hesitate to check out some of the old videos of eco where we got started and also don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button it lets you know when i post new data or <laughs> new data new content and i'm trying to get up stuff daily so i i'm working on that really really hard so anyways, uh, yeah, likes, comments, subscribe, you know, you know the deal. Anyways, until next time, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.